Parte News Now investigation found some people on Hampton Roads are buying homes only to find out they're not the legal owner. In some cases, those homes are in such disrepair that the city is choosing to demolish them. Dan Kennedy investigates a possible scam that could leave its victims broke and homeless. They say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. What is up, guys? It is Joey here. I have a very unique property today. This is Newport News, Virginia. But a 13 News Now investigation uncovered an ugly truth about some rundown homes for sale in Hampton Roads. Yeah, this is broken. A man linked to several Virginia-based LLCs uses social media like YouTube and Craigslist to sell homes like this, often in dire disrepair. I don't ask questions. I just do my job and I sell them for you. Owner financing, no credit check. We obtained one of the agreement for deed contracts between the LLC 72019 and one of its buyers. It came with a down payment of several thousand dollars with the rest financed at more than 15% interest. That's almost three times the interest a bank would charge today. Buyers get to move into the homes even though the deed remains in the LLC's name until all monthly payments are made, something that could take decades. Ethically is wrong. Why are you going to sell something to somebody and say this is yours and legally it's not theirs? It's deceiving them. Raina Howell talked to us on behalf of her client who signed one of those contracts. All he thought he was doing was buying a home. Exactly. Live in the American dream. That's what we want. We want our own home and hopefully our own business and continue on bettering our lives. Her client started fixing up the home and that caught the attention of the city's codes compliance division, which found the property to be unsafe. An inspector condemned the home and put it on the demolition list. They wrote in an email to the buyer that any more work would require a structural engineer's report and permits. But Howell says her client can't get the proper permits because the home isn't in his name. Property records show the owner is actually Kilu LLC. Yeah, that's usually how these work out because the sellers know that somebody moves in, they, they spend time and resources to, to fix it up. Eventually they're going to default and you're going to evict them and then you're going to have a better property than you started with. We took the contract to attorney Eric Dunn, who specializes in property law. He calls sales like this scams, predatory and possibly illegal. I'm confident in saying that almost all these deals are going to, you're going to find illegal things. It's just that, you know, what's actually illegal about it will, um, you know, differ a little bit from situation. Just a few thousand dollars in cosmetics and this house is yours. Take this home on 24th Street in Newport News, which city inspectors found with code violations and work being done without permits. The buyer emailed the city saying, as far as my husband and I know, we are the owners of this house. How do we find out if this is true? I mean, we are tired of being used. Our investigation found it's not true. Property records show the owner is LLC 72019. A judge may soon decide who is legally responsible for the repairs and upkeep on these homes. The LLC 72019 was cited to criminal court next month for failing to upkeep one home. We wanted to hear from the sellers, so we called and texted. So just send me a text and I'll get back to you within the hour. At least for us, no responses within the hour when we started asking questions like, what happens to the buyer and their down payment if they get evicted for missing payments? It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. People might not end up losing all this money. For Raina Howell, she's worried the people who could least afford it may find themselves out of the homes they thought they owned. Dan Kennedy, 13 News Now. Attorneys we spoke to urge anyone entering into a similar contract to consult with legal help before signing on the dotted line.